for this tutorial I will use two RFM 95W shields from Maker Fabs and two Arduino Uno compatible boards. I will also use one photoresistor based analog light measurement sensor and three female to male jumper wires. In the project we will measure lighting with one of the Arduino Uno boards and the lighting sensor and will transmit the information with one of the LoRa modules to the other and with the second Arduino Uno we will send that information through the serial port to the computer for reporting. This type of connectivity allows sending the data over large distances of up to 5 miles and in some cases with some antennas and direct visibility even longer distances. First we will assemble the remote measurement module. We will use this Meduino Arduino Uno compatible module from Maker Fabs. It's a very good quality module and one of the Maker Fabs shields. We'll carefully plug the shield on top of the Meduino and insert all of the pins in place. Next, we'll connect the wires to the sensor. We'll connect the female end of the red wire to the plus pin, the central pin of my module, the black wire to the minus negative pin, this will provide power to the module, and the blue wire to the signal pin. This will be our analog signal. The other end of the black wire will be connected to one of the ground pins on the Arduino Nano, in this case through the shield on top. The red wire will be connected to 5 volts And finally, the blue wire will be connected to analog pin 0. Our remote sensing unit is ready. Now it's time to put together the unit that will receive the data. I will use one Arduino Uno compatible board because that's what I have but you can use any other Uno or Mega boards and the other Maker Fabs shield. Again all I need to do is carefully put the shield on top of the board and plug it so all of the pins will be fully inserted. Our unit is ready to use. First we will program the module with the photoresistor that will send the data. Start a new Visuino project Select Add Shields, select the Maker Fabs RFM 95, 96, 97, 98 LoRa Shield and add the shield to the board. Close the shield editor. The shield adds input and output pins for the LoRa messages. We can directly connect the output pin of the analog channel 0 
to the intent of the shield, however, this will start sending data all the time. We want to send data once per second. For this, we can use a snapshot component. I will add analog snapshot component. Connect the output of analog channel 0 to the input pin of the snapshot component and the output pin of the snapshot component to the input pin of the LoRa shield. We want to take snapshots once every second. For this we can use a clock generator. I will add it and I will connect the output of the clock generator to the snapshot input pin of the analog snapshot component. The project is ready. Now we can click on this button to generate the Arduino code and open the Arduino IDE. Make sure we have the right board selected and select the COM port where the board is connected. Click on this button to compile and upload the code to the Arduino Uno. The code is uploaded and the module has started sending the data. Now it's time to program the receiving module. Again, first we'll add shield. We will connect the output pin of the shield to the input pin of serial channel 0. The project is ready. Now we can click on this button to generate the Arduino code and open the Arduino IDE. Make sure the right board is selected, in this case Arduino Uno, and select the COM port where the board is connected. Click on this button to compile and upload the code. The code is uploaded. Now we can select COM port in the serial terminal of Visuino and connect to the receiving module. You can see the data arriving from the photoresistor. And if we move it around and point it to different light, the values will change. If we cover it completely, the values will increase. We can see this in the scope. This will work over large distance. This is the simplest way to create remote LoRa measuring project. The problem is that the receiving module will receive any messages arriving from any compatible LoRa device in the area. In my case, I am lucky that I have only one transmitter which transmits on the same frequency. However, in reality, there could be other people transmitting data with similar modules. My module will pick their transmissions and that will disturb my data. Visuino includes special components that can help us make sure we receive only the data we transmit from our modules. I will show you how to use those components to improve our projects. Reopen the sending project. In the component toolbar search box type packet. Select the add packet header ID component. 
and drop it in the design area. This component can add header to each packet that is being sent over LoRa. We will add unique ID for our packet. In my case, 3467. I will disconnect the output from the analog snapshot component, connect the output to the in pin of the add packet header component, and the output of the add packet header component to the input of the shield. I will rearrange the components to make the connections nicer. The project is ready. Now, again, I can click on this button to generate the Arduino code and open the Arduino IDE. Select the COM port, compile and upload the code. The code is uploaded. Now, let's modify the receiver project. We will drop the tech packet header ID component. We'll set the same header 3467. This will ensure that only packets that start with this header 3467 will be received. All other packets will be ignored. And click OK. Disconnect the old connection, connect the output pin of the LoRa module to the input pin of the detect packet header component and the output pin of the detect packet header component to the input pin of serial channel 0. Click on this button to generate the Arduino code and open the Arduino ID. Select the appropriate COM port, compile and upload the code. The code is uploaded. Now we can again connect to the receiving module with the serial terminal. And we'll see the data arriving again from our transmitting module. This time, however, if there are other modules in the area sending packets, they will be ignored unless they start with the specific header 3467. If necessary, we can use a bigger header to make sure that there is no interference with our data. 